welcome once again to Smart Hair Clinic. Today we are going to have an educational video on how to do the wash after the hair transfer surgery. Your first wash should be 36 to 48 hours after the surgery or the second day after the hair transfer surgery. Before doing the first wash, the first thing you need to do is to remove the bandage. What you can do, just grab a scissors, cut it from the corner slightly, from one corner and just remove the bandage. It came a little slightly attached. You may have some pain when removing it, but it's perfectly normal. Just roll it over and remove the bandage. You can ask for assistance for someone. After that, what you should do, you have a pantanol spray and foam in your first aid bag. You get the pantanol spray and spray it over the recipient area only where the hair was transplanted. You apply it as a thin layer over the area so it covers transplanted grafts. It will keep the graft moisturized and soften the scabs. And after that, the foam should wait over the head for like 30 to 40 minutes. After waiting for around 30 to 40 minutes, before rinsing off the foam, what you should do, gently tap the transplanted area with the fingertips. The tapping should not be very soft, not like this, no. You should tap it or gently slap it actually, so the scabs become softer. So remember, for the transplanted area, you should do the tapping. And for the donor area, it's the back side of the hand, you should gently rub it to remove dead tissues from the back side of the donor area. After that, you should gently rinse off the foam. The water should not be cold, it should not be hot, it should be the warm water with the low pressure. You get it and let the water do the job for you. After rinsing off the foam, pour some shampoo over the transplanted area. Grab some shampoo on your hands. The shampoo is in your first aid kit. Make it foamy a little bit. And again, transplanted area, tap it till it becomes foamy. You should tap it gently for like three to five minutes and make the scabs softer. So, once again, recipient area or the area where the hair was transplanted, you just do the tapping, gentle, gentle tapping. For the donor area, you gently rub it with your hand. You may have some burning feeling or some pain. It's perfectly normal. It will be gone in a couple of days. If you don't wash the donor area this way, the healing process can be delayed. And after all is done, once again, what you do, you gently rinse off the foam. Let the water do the job for you.
Okay, how to dry the hair after the hair transfer surgery? The transplanted area or the recipient area, grab a paper towel and gently push it over the transplanted zone. This is how you do it for the recipient area. For the donor area, use the regular towel just to gently rub it and clean it up. Just you used to do it before the surgery. After all is done and the wash is over, you have an antibiotic cream in your bag. With a thin layer, rub it only for the donor area. With a thin layer, put it over the donor area and gently, gently rub it with some massage. Don't forget, it's only for the donor area. You shouldn't use it over the transplanted area. Mm -hmm.